Hey guys, it's Sarah. All right, it is Monday, the first day of Buzzword Readathon. So here's what's gonna be happening this week. All right, um, I really had to look at my class reading books, the books that I'm reading for my um, children's literature class. And I still have a ways to go on that and I only have about three weeks or so, maybe four weeks, three weeks, three and a half weeks. Um, to read them. So I got to really get started because some of them are over 400 pages long. <laughs> so this week though, I'm going to be doing all of the books that have the buzzwords in them. And I only have three, but once I finish those three, I have to kind of move on to my next one. So this is going to be a shorter wrap up. I'm not going to do it by the day because I'm probably not going to be reading throughout the entire week for this readathon. I'm going to read the three books that I have picked and that have the buzzwords in them. And then I'm going to need to move on to other ones without buzzwords. So that's how this wrap up is going to work right now. So unfortunately, I can't get to the review book that I was planning to even, I mean, it's not a big deal because it's not out until the end of May, so I can read that later. Um, and then I won't be able to get to another one. So that's okay, though. You know, the priority for me right now is definitely passing my class. <laughs> it's kind of important. Okay, so Monday, I'm going to start out with the easiest one, which is Who Was Abraham Lincoln um, by Janet Pascal. So this is a biography about Abraham Lincoln. This one is less than 100 pages long, so I'm probably going to sit down right now and just knock it out in one sitting. And um, it also has a lot of illustrations in here. Um, and so I am excited to see what this is all about. But this is definitely a nonfiction. I totally stole it off Kaylin's bookshelf. She loves Abraham Lincoln. He is her favorite president. Um, so I ended up picking this up for her. I think when we were in Savannah, I saw it at a bookshop and I got it for her. But um, yeah, so I'm going to start with this one. It's got the word who in the title and we will see what I think. All right, guys, I just finished this. I read it really, really quickly. Obviously, it's only 100 pages and it just went really fast. Um, but this was really good, actually. So it talks about Lincoln in his childhood and where he grew up and how he got into politics and just kind of his steps to get there and how he didn't win a lot of elections. But the two he won were the most important, <laughs> obviously, um, as president. So um, it did talk about you know, his stance during the Civil War, which, you know, he had kind of mixed opinions about slavery, which was interesting to me because he's, you know, the one who really championed, you know, getting rid of it completely. But he also had to make some decisions and some compromises with that. You know, it wasn't just, you know, end slavery altogether. He had to work with the states too. So that was interesting. Um, I also did not know that he's the one who established celebrating Thanksgiving on the last Thursday of every November. That was him. I didn't know that. So that was cool. Um, and then it talked about his death, you know, at the end, obviously. And it was interesting because I know that there's a photo that exists of his second inauguration speech where he's speaking and John Wilkes Booth is there. Um, but when I looked it up, there's two different men in the audience who are pointed out as John Wilkes Booth. So I don't know if we officially know which one was him. Um, they both look very much like John Wilkes Booth, but that was interesting. You know, some said this one, some said this one. So I don't know, but that's kind of creepy to see, you know, just knowing that he was going to be the one to kill the president. That's crazy. So, um, this was very good. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars and, um, definitely something really good and informative for kids for sure. And a good transitional book too, because they, um, you know, there's lots of pictures in here for kids to read and, or to look at, you know, to go along with the reading and all that. So it was very good. I really liked it. All right. So now um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break because I'll be honest, I've been reading a lot this past weekend, um, just trying to get through some of my books. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break, I think, for the rest of the day for the most part. But I will tonight when I get in bed, I will pick up The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This will be my next one. Um, I'm really excited to read this one. I've heard very, very good things about it. So this will be my next read for sure, but I'm going to start it later tonight. I just need to give my brain a little bit of a break. Uh, we have to go run some errands. The girls are on spring break right now, so they are home. Um, but this one is 386 pages, so it's a bit of a longer book. But again, I think it's going to go fast, but I will get started on it tonight. So I will probably... Um, 
I'm going to go run my errands and then I'll probably just watch some TV and just kind of zone out a little bit for the rest of the day. And then when I get in bed, I'll pick this one up um, and see how quickly I can get through it. So I'll probably just update you tomorrow and let you know um, how far I end up getting in this one tonight. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Yeah, so I've been a very, very bad vlogger this time around and I'm sorry. Um, spring break is kind of throwing me off a little bit. You know, my kids are home all day, every day right now. Um, and I haven't been reading as quickly as I was hoping I could. So there is that. But I did finish The Abraham Lincoln. Yesterday, actually last night, I finished Where the Red Fern Grows. I listened to that on audiobook and I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I remember reading that, I think I was in fifth grade. My teacher read it to our class and then we watched the movie. I remember crying in the book and I remember crying in the movie and now I remember why I wasn't quite sure what it was that triggered my tears I just it's been so long but I was listening to it last night and I was in the shower last night and I was like yep this is it this is when I started crying I held it together as an adult so I was I was okay but I, I think my face was pretty much like the whole time like probably the last third of the book <laughs> just like that so my tears stayed in check, but yeah, my emotions were just, oh my gosh. So it was a five star. I just, it's such a great book. Um, okay. So where the red fern goes is red. So that's two books down. Um, the red fern is actually also on the great American reads list, but I have read it previously. So I didn't, you know, I've already checked it off as red because I read it when I was young, but, um, yeah, but I'm happy about that. Okay. Now I'm working on the girl who drank the moon. Now, I'm not very far in. I'm only like 56 pages or so. <laughs> I'm reading it at night, which is not a good idea because I'm not staying up very late to read. So ugh, I'm just, it's one of those situations again, where I'm waiting too long to pick this up. So this is going to be a priority tonight before I get in bed and also tomorrow. Now tomorrow is Friday. Um, I might have one errand I have to run. I'm, I'm going to have to make a phone call to see it's a medication I need to pick up and I just need to call the pharmacy and make sure it's there because my doctor had to do it, you know, like electronically. So I'm going to make sure it's there before I make the trip out to the pharmacy to go get it. Um, so it's up in the air whether or not that's going to happen. We will see, but I'll make that phone call first thing in the morning just to see what's going on. And then, um, I just don't have any other plans so that's nice I can spend all day reading which I definitely plan to do if the weather's nice my girls or my little one has been wanting to play outside more it's starting to get nicer so um maybe you know I'll sit on the driveway with her and she can play uh she likes to take her dolls outside and play in the grass and stuff so maybe we'll do that if it's nice but I could sit there and read while she does that um so we're just gonna see how it goes hopefully it'll be good I'm just really thought since I only had three books on my TBR that I would get it done, you know, like really quickly. But, um, I also got distracted by walking dead. Let's be real. <laughs> it's not all just my kids. It's, I was watching zombies for like two days because I got behind on the show. I was about five episodes behind. Now I'm only one. So, um, but I'll save that to read after the read or to watch after the readathon. So, but yeah, I totally, got sucked in because Ryan Hurst just joined the cast and I love him. So I wanted to see him as beta, but okay. No zombie talk. This is, this is books. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm just, I don't know. I got to get dinner started here soon. Um, so I may not be picking this up until after, you know, like dinner and we're kind of winding down for the night and the girls are getting in bed and stuff, but, um, it will be my priority tonight. And majority of tomorrow. So I will check in with you tomorrow and let you know how I end up doing, but hopefully I will make a very, very, very big dent in this between now and then. So, okay. Whew. Let's do this. Hey guys. So it's Monday morning and yeah, our weekend was very, very, very busy. So I didn't get very much reading done. Um, so this is going to be kind of the final, like, 
and done with the readathon thing but the last book that I was reading which is the girl who drank the moon and I got uh, almost halfway through like almost halfway through I'm probably 10 or 20 pages away from being halfway done officially but um, I am loving it I just didn't have the time to put into it this weekend so that's why I didn't quite finish it but um still really good really really good so I'm just I'm gonna keep on plugging away on that honestly just because you know it's for my class and stuff but I didn't quite get through it this week like I wanted to um we just ended up being a lot more busy than I was expecting a lot of kind of last minute things happened and um, we just spent some really good family time this weekend which is always a good thing so um two and a half books done this week who is Abraham Lincoln, Where the Red Fern Grows, and then Half of the Girl Who Drank the Moon. So not my most successful readathon, but not a complete failure either. So it's fine. All right, that's going to be it for me for this. I'm going to be continuing to read a whole bunch for my class. Um, I have my project due mid-April. So I will be reading probably up until the first week of April, um, just doing nothing but these middle grade books. So, um, but I will end up having a kind of a class, the books I'm reading for class wrap up. I'm working on a couple of videos for that. So those will be coming in April as well, where I'll talk a little bit more in depth about some of these books that I'm reading. But um, yeah. All right. That's gonna be it for me. Um, sorry, it wasn't like the best video ever, but it is what it is. That's what my week was like. All right. I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a good day. Bye.